We're looking at uh, the week's health headlines, including an unexpected snack to take before you work out. Joining us is our morning news medical contributor and Northwestern Medicine physician, Dr. Lauren Stryker. Good morning. Good morning. First up, your new book about hot flashes is out today. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. My latest book in my Inside Information series, um, Hot Flash Hell, is coming out later today. And honestly, this is the one everyone's been waiting for because hot flashes are experienced by 80% of women when they go through menopause. And this is a solution-driven book because most women don't know what to do to get rid of them. And there's, there's so many misconceptions. I'm going to give you a quick preview and tell you three things every woman needs to know when it comes to hot flashes. All right. Number one, they're going to last a lot longer than you think. You know, most people think that hot flashes only last two to three years. They can chop it out. They can dress in layers. But in fact, they last an average of seven to 10 years. And in some women, even longer, like forever. Number two, there's this idea that hot flashes aren't harmful. No one ever died from a hot flash. But we now have really good science that proves that the consequences of hot flashes go way beyond being miserable and not being able to get a decent night's sleep, and that hot flashes are actually associated with serious medical conditions like heart disease and osteoporosis. And number three, the good news. There are solutions. There's no reason to live with hot flashes, and that's why I wrote Hot Flash Hell, because I wanted to give women this information, every single hormonal, non-hormonal option, what works, what doesn't work, what's safe, what's not safe. I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to make a big difference for a lot of people, so I'm excited about it. All right, how about overweight adults and diabetes screenings? Yeah, so, so switching gears a little bit, you know, the criteria for screening for diabetes has changed. Um, and when you look at risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes, being overweight is at the top of the list. And no surprise, since obesity rates have gone up in this country, diabetes rates have also gone up. And right now, nearly one out of seven adults have type 2 diabetes. And in the last 20 years, type 2 diabetes has doubled, doubled among young people, including even teenagers. So now the recommendation used to be that you get screened at 40 if you're overweight. But now a new statement issued last week by the U.S. Preventative uh, Service Tax Force said, start screening at age 35 if you are overweight. Um, and the best way, of course, screening is not difficult. We're talking about a blood test, a fasting blood sugar. And, and just, I think sometimes people forget how serious diabetes can be. Diabetes is linked to heart disease, liver disease. It is the number one cause of kidney failure. It's linked to blindness, a lot of other complications, including an increased risk of dying if you get COVID. So this is serious. This is something people really need to pay attention to. All right, how about a surprising pre-workout snack? I'm going to cut right to the chase. It's a Rice Krispie bar. Yay, who doesn't love Rice Krispie bars? You know, a few months ago, I talked about the dangers of dry scooping all these athletes that were using powdered supplements before their workout because they thought it would boost their energy and it was actually dangerous and it didn't work. Well, now there's this new TikTok trend on boosting energy prior to an intense workout by eating a Rice Krispie bar. And unlike dry scooping, it's not dangerous and it's actually not a bad idea. And the reason is that cereal, cereal is a simple carbohydrate, which means it's a source of quick energy. Basically, it goes directly into your bloodstream instead of hanging out in your stomach for a long time like the complex carbohydrates do. And so it really does seem to boost your energy before you work out. And of course, the obvious question I had is, well, why not just eat a bowl of cereal, you know, and avoid all the, the marshmallowy stuff, the butter, the sugar, I mean, the good stuff that's surrounding the cereal. And the reason is, I mean, from a practical point of view, I mean, it's easier to put a Rice Krispie bar in your gym bag than a bowl of cereal and a lot of people don't do that well with milk anyway so you probably don't need to do this before you go for a walk but if you're going for that intense workout yeah eat the rice crispy bar all right for more you can go to drstriker.com or follow her on social media thanks so much thank you thank you